Welcome to Miss Scarlet, the place to be feminine. Subscribe and enjoy. Celine stood before the bathroom mirror, her heart racing as she gazed at the stranger reflected back at her. The transformation was astounding. With a delicate hand, she touched her smooth, shaved chin, a foreign sensation compared to the rough scratch of a five o'clock shadow she was used to. Her skin felt soft and supple, having been exfoliated and moisturized to a radiant glow. Foundations, concealers, and a light dusting of powder had transformed her complexion, accentuating her cheekbones and giving her a flawless, porcelain-like finish. Her eyes, once deep brown pools, now sparkled with a vibrant shade of emerald green framed by long, dark lashes. A hint of blush added a subtle rosiness to her cheeks, completing the illusion of natural beauty. Who are you? She whispered, her voice soft and unfamiliar. It was a ridiculous question. Of course she knew who she was, but the person staring back at her was a revelation. For the first time, she felt like she was truly seeing herself. Celine had always felt trapped within her body, a mismatched puzzle piece forced into the wrong slot. As Nick, he had felt uncomfortable in his own skin, his clothes hanging awkwardly, never quite fitting right. But now, as she admired her reflection, she felt a sense of peace and belonging. It was as if she had finally come home. You're beautiful, she breathed her eyes widening at the sound of her own words. It was true. She was beautiful, not in a conventional sense, perhaps, but there was an allure to her unusual features, an elegance to the sharp angles of her cheeks and jawline. She looked like a porcelain doll, exquisite and unique. A smile played at her lips as she reached for a tube of lipstick, a deep crimson red. With steady hands, she applied the color, her lips now a bold, sensual statement. She blushed at the thought of going out into the world like this, on display for all to see. But the excitement outweighed the fear. Today was the day she would step out as her true self for the first time. Showtime, she murmured, reaching for a bottle of perfume. She spritzed a delicate floral scent onto her neck and wrists, the fragrance enveloping her in a cloud of femininity. Closing her eyes, she took a deep breath, allowing the aroma to calm her nerves. The transformation was not just skin deep. Celine had spent months cultivating her new identity, researching, and curating a wardrobe that reflected her true self. It hadn't been easy, especially on a tight budget, but, with perseverance and a keen eye for a bargain, she had built an impressive collection. As she dressed, her fingers deftly fastening buttons and zippers, she recalled the thrill of her thrift store expeditions. With a limited budget, she had to be creative, but it only added to the thrill of the hunt. She had learned to identify quality garments hidden among the racks, recognizing potential where others may have passed them by. A dollar for this silk blouse? She recalled, a smile spreading across her face. They have no idea what they're giving away. Her fingers gently brushed the soft fabric of the blouse, a deep burgundy color that brought out the warmth of her auburn hair. It had been one of her first finds, a treasure uncovered on a rainy Saturday afternoon. She paired the blouse with a high-waisted pencil skirt, the form-fitting silhouette emphasizing her curves. The skirt had been another bargain, discovered at the back of a musty thrift store, its hem just grazing her knees. It was a classic, timeless piece, and she felt elegant and sophisticated as she slipped it on. A pair of vintage heels completed the outfit, their soft leather, a muted gray, accentuated with a delicate bow. They had been a splurge, but as she slid her feet into them, the soft leather molding to her feet, she knew they were worth every penny. Comfortable? A voice called from the other room. It was her roommate, Abby, who had been an invaluable support throughout Celine's journey. 
getting there? Celine called back, her voice steady despite the butterflies fluttering in her stomach. How do I look? Abby appeared in the doorway, her eyes widening at the sight of Celine's fully transformed appearance. Wow, she breathed. You clean up nice, girl. Celine laughed, a light, musical sound. Do I really look that different? Different? Abby shook her head. You look incredible. I mean, you're always gorgeous, but today you're serving looks, honey. Celine felt her cheeks warm at the compliment. You think so? I know so. Abby grinned. Now let's get this show on the road. We have a date with mimosas and brunch, and I intend to show you off. Celine's heart skipped a beat at the thought of venturing out into the world, on display for all to see. But with Abby by her side, she felt brave, capable of facing anything. Arm in arm, they left the apartment, Celine's heart pounding in her chest. The sun shone brightly, a warm summer day, and she felt a sense of freedom as she stepped out into the light, no longer hiding in the shadows. Heads turned as they strolled through the park, and Celine felt a mix of pride and nervousness. She straightened her spine, refusing to let her uncertainty show. You're working it, girl, Abby whispered, squeezing her arm. Everyone's staring because you look damn fine. Celine couldn't help but smile. You really think so? I know so, Abby said, echoing her earlier words. Now, let's get to brunch. Mimosas aren't going to drink themselves. Laughter spilled from Celine's lips, a sound she rarely heard from herself. But today, everything felt different. Today, she felt alive. Brunch was a blur of mimosa mint and laughter. Celine felt lightheaded from the combination of champagne and the heady rush of finally being herself. She and Abby chatted endlessly, catching up on the latest gossip and sharing stories of their week. It was a comfortable routine, one they had fallen into easily, and Celine relished the normalcy of it all. So, how does it feel? Abby asked, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. Being out and about as your true self, I mean. Celine paused, her fork halfway to her mouth, laden with a bite of avocado toast. It was a question she had been asking herself all morning. Liberating, she said at last, setting the fork down with a clatter. Freeing, like I've stepped out of a cage I didn't even know I was in. Abby nodded, her expression understanding. I can only imagine. It must be a whole new world. It is, Celine breathed, her eyes widening as she took in the bustling cafe around them. It truly is. I feel like I'm seeing everything for the first time. That's beautiful, Abby murmured, raising her glass for a toast. Here's to new beginnings and the real you. To new beginnings, Celine echoed, clinking her glass against Abby's. A warm glow spread through her, a mixture of the champagne and the joy of finally embracing her true self. The day wore on, and as the sun began its descent, casting long shadows across the city, Celine found herself standing in front of her closet once more, pondering her wardrobe choices. She had returned home after brunch on a cloud, floating with a mixture of champagne and euphoria. Now, as the buzz wore off, a sense of reality settled in, and she faced the prospect of returning to the outside world as her true self. What's the occasion? Abby asked, popping her head into the bedroom. Her eyes widened as she took in the array of outfits laid out on the bed. Girl, are you playing dress up? Celine laughed, a nervous titter. Something like that, she admitted. I just want to get it right, you know? I feel like I'm representing something bigger than myself now. Abby nodded, her expression softening. I get it. First impressions and all that. But honey, you could wear a paper bag and still turn heads. Celine blushed, 
feeling silly for her indecision. I know, she murmured. It's just, I want to make the most of this. I've waited so long to be myself, and now that I can, I don't want to mess it up. You won't, Abby assured her, crossing the room to squeeze her shoulder. You're killing it already, and you haven't even left the house. Now, let me help you decide. Together, they sifted through the piles of clothing, a melange of styles and colors. There were silky blouses and floaty skirts, form-fitting dresses, and tailored jackets. It was a curation of feminine finery, each piece carefully selected by Celine over the past few months. What about this? Abby held up a delicate lace dress, its sleeves puffed at the shoulders, the skirt falling just above the knee. You said you wanted to make a statement. Celine bit her lip, considering the dress. It was a bold choice, the lace a stark contrast against her pale skin, but it exuded a sense of old-school glamour, a classic pin-up style. It's beautiful, she murmured, but I don't know if I can pull it off. You can, and you will, Abby insisted, handing her the dress. Try it on. It'll look incredible with those heels you bought. Celine took the dress, her heart hammering in her chest. She slipped it over her head, the lace soft against her skin. As she smoothed the skirt over her hips, she caught a glimpse of herself in the mirror, her breath catching in her throat. The dress fit like a glove, accentuating her curves, the lace hugging her body. It was a bold statement, but she felt empowered, like she could take on the world. Oh my, Abby breathed, her eyes sparkling. That's the one. You look like a bombshell. Celine grinned, her nerves melting away. Really? Really, Abby confirmed. Now, for the finishing touches. Abby helped her style her hair, curling her auburn locks into soft waves that tumbled over her shoulders. They debated jewelry, ultimately settling on a pair of diamond studs that sparkled in the evening light. A swipe of deep red lipstick completed the look, adding a touch of old Hollywood glamour. There, Abby declared, stepping back to admire her handiwork. You are a vision. Celine felt her confidence surge, a mixture of Abby's encouragement and the empowering dress. I feel like a million bucks, she admitted. A million bucks? Abby snorted. Girl, you look like a billion! Laughter bubbled up, releasing the last of Celine's tension. Let's go show the world, she said, her voice steady and strong. Arm in arm, they stepped out into the night, the city a maze of twinkling lights, Celine felt like she was stepping onto a stage, the world her audience. She no longer felt the need to hide, to shrink into the background. Instead, she stood tall, her head held high, proud to finally be herself. Their destination was a local jazz bar, a speakeasy-style joint hidden away in an unassuming alley. As they stepped through the door, the rich, sultry tones of a saxophone washed over them, carrying them back in time. Celine felt all eyes on her as they crossed the room, but this time she didn't shy away. She held her head high, a smile playing at her lips. She felt elegant, sophisticated, a vision in red lace and soft curls. You clean up nice, a deep voice murmured as they slid into a booth. It was Jason, a friend of Abby's, his dark eyes appraising. Didn't recognize you at first. Celine felt a rush of pleasure at the compliment. Thank you, she said, her voice low and sultry, matching the mood of the bar. It's a new look for me. Well, it suits you, he said, signaling the waiter for drinks. You scrub up well, Celine. Celine couldn't help but beam at the praise. She felt like she was glowing, radiating a confidence she never knew she possessed. The jazz bar felt like the perfect setting, the smooth music and dim lighting adding to the allure of the evening. 
The night unfolded like a dream. They sipped on cocktails, the crisp, bitter taste of gin complementing the sweet jazz floating through the air. Celine felt like she had stepped into a movie, the soft glow of the bar and the hushed voices creating an intimate, exclusive atmosphere. As the band took a break, a burly man with a deep, gravelly voice took to the stage, a piano accompanist by his side. He launched into a rendition of Fly Me to the Moon, his eyes fixed on Celine as he sang. In other words, hold my hand, he crooned his eyes locking with hers. In other words, baby, kiss me. Celine felt her cheeks burn as the room dissolved into applause. She met Abby's eyes, her friend grinning from ear to ear. You've definitely made an impression, Abby whispered, her eyes sparkling with mirth. Celine could only nod, her heart pounding in her chest. The singer's deep, velvety voice had washed over her, leaving her feeling breathless. The evening came to an end far too soon, the warm buzz of alcohol and jazz lulling Celine into a blissful haze. As they stepped out into the night, the cool air a welcome relief. After the stuffy bar, she felt a sense of contentment wash over her. That was incredible. <laughs>